Good morning everyone, it's Corinne here, Managing Director of Ethical Sales and today I wanted to share with you my top SEO tip. Uh, this is particularly for those of you who are feeling stuck with SEO or how to optimise your website and you have no idea where to start. So I am going to show you how to start your SEO and I want you to imagine if you can do a deep dive into your website, find out what keywords you're ranking for, find out also what keywords and top pages your competitors are ranking for. Um, and that will be incredibly useful, which I'll explain more in a minute. So there are some amazing tools out there that you can use. Uh, one of them is called Ahrefs. Another one is called Uber Suggests, and I'm going to put these in the comments below um, a bit later on. And you can use these tools to actually find out this information. Um, they, are, um, they are pretty much free. Uh, you will need to sign up for about a, a week or so, uh, but then you can cancel your account. And actually a week um, of doing some exploration is, is more than enough time um, for you to do what I'm suggesting. So what you're going to be able to do on these tools is to find out exactly what keywords you're ranking for on Google and how high up you are ranking for on Google, which is incredibly useful. You will also be able to find that out about your competitors and you'll be able to compare the results. Now, this is very useful because you'll be able to see what the differences are. And also it will give you some ideas about what you can aim for in the future. These tools are really useful because they also will give you some suggestions about what keywords you could consider ranking for. And also they will help you to think about which ones are worth aiming for, but which ones aren't. So I'll give you an example of a project that I ran last year for a skincare brand. And um, they sell a very, a very popular item. And the problem with the keywords around that item is that they are incredibly competitive, even though many, many people are searching for them every day. So what we had to do is we had to find what you call the long tail keywords. And these are the lesser new, known keywords or the ones that people use less, but there are still plenty of people typing them in. So, for example, rather than you trying to optimize for natural skincare, you might actually think of optimizing for natural and organic skincare instead. So um, I would advise you to use these tools to get to know them and get into the mindset of how um, how they work and also think a bit more in a keyword kind of way. And those of you who kind of get SEO will understand what I mean by that. But it is a certain way of thinking about your customers and about what they're typing into Google. The more you use these tools and the more you use them in your day-to-day -day activities, whether that's thinking about a blog post or how to optimize a certain product page, the more you'll get into the mindset and it will just be something that comes more naturally to you. So um, I hope this quick tip helps. Um, this is something that we do as part of our sales review and roadmap service and also as part of our online strategy service. Um, it's really important, uh, particularly for those businesses who haven't really looked at SEO for their website before. And I always, always start by doing an analysis of their website on one of these tools. So it's a, a really important part of what we do. And it really helps to build those foundations for the future about um, what your keyword strategy actually is. So in the comments below, I've got a couple of the tools um, that I've mentioned. Um, I hope they're useful. Um, as always, you can sign up to my newsletter, which is at www.ethical-sales.co.uk. Um, the next one will be going out next week, and that will be to mark the launch of our website, which is very, very exciting. Um, and that's when we'll be opening the doors to more new clients, um, hopefully working with some of you over the summer on some of your sales challenges. So have a lovely weekend. Um, and uh, I hope the weather cheers up a bit and uh, I'll chat to you again next week. Take care. Bye.